trust you over me. And there we go. Because <laughs> I set fires to the place you know to what? save your relationship. <laughs> she needs That's why you can trust me. Not a fight. You know, I get it. Get what? Why you think of me this way? The chump who keeps screwing things up? I never... I understand because that's my little routine, you know? What are you saying? <laughs> I set the place on fire! I'm not about to tell her all my dirty secrets. That wouldn't be like me at all. <laughs> Although I guess this is a pretty good day for confessions. Um, yeah, I'm telling her the truth. <sighs> it's not easy existing between Marie and you. Between the overbearing artist and her gifted little go-getter. <laughs> so, I figured if I played the klutzy dits, I wouldn't need to compete with either of you. If oh, for what's Why the hell did I choose this grapefruit? <laughs> oh, this grapefruit, whatever. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, grapefruits are not very nice, and that's all you picked up that's as well. That's my Didi do. Open your heart a tiny bit, and she gets all uncomfortable. Grapefruit is always terrible, Didi do. Understand then why do people eat them? <laughs> tense between us. It would be easier if I could act like Jan's competitive spirit is unmatched. She has to be the first in everything. It can make her a little stupid sometimes. Oh, just like when she was training for tennis. Oh, when we did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hamster races. Racing hamsters. I felt like punching you at times. Come again. Yeah, it sounds weird when I say it out loud. You're the strongest person I know. <laughs> and you're built like a sea cucumber. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is... I was How, what? <laughs> How is it to be built like a sea cucumber? Mom right now. I don't get that. Not just her. Yeah, I'm totally talking about Marie. Mustard and brown sauce. the fact that you're my sister and that's special to me. And I know it's the same to you. All right, that's enough sappy stuff for one day. Let's talk about something else. Look, I'm sure you're upset. <laughs> just of course I'm upset. Straight faced. We just found out that <laughs> mom might die. Does that mean nothing to you? It does. Uh, of course it does. Uh, but it's okay. I'm handling it. You know, I'm perfectly capable of making this decision. I said, I think we've been told that we have to do it. And, you know, it looks like the decision is to turn off on, the Jean? life support. <laughs> I'm sorry. Something's wrong. Uh, could be the grapefruit. I read somewhere that it's really toxic. And, no, uh, it's not the grapefruit. I don't recognize you. You're different. Ooh, she wants to talk. <laughs> That's just her way to cope with stress. She needs to dissect things to understand them. And... She needs to understand things in order to control them. Yeah, some people, if they're not so in control of the whole situation. Play. It's worth a try. Jan is defenseless against my fine brand of humor. What if we chose none? <laughs> what if we didn't choose one? Ah, damn, you noticed. It's just a little filler here and there. It just brightens up the whole face, you know? <laughs> you can only dodge so many serious conversations with your stupid jokes. <laughs> I guess I can't get out of this one. You're acting like like some kind of robot. You're all closed off. I'll be also we've been pretty open. Considering how I feel about all this. What about how we feel? Uh, what's the game here? Where's the Jen I know? She's got some nerve lecturing me as though nothing happened. I'm not gonna lie, she's not entirely. I haven't exactly been brimming over with empathy recently. It's not my fault, you know. It just makes it easier to get through the day. For me, at least. I'm not sure how anyone else manages. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a bit okay, distant, especially in a situation like this. Have you talked about <laughs> my situation? Yeah, you've been put in See? a That's problematic exactly situation. Wow, you shouldn't okay. really react. You are being an asshole. Like, like a huge <laughs> asshole, yet again, but I'm used to that. I've been meaning to talk to you about this, so so why not do it now? <laughs> when it's already to get uncomfortable in our situation. And, and you can see how hard this is on me. A and yet, here we are, yet again, talking about you. 
Were we really though? It was awful. It really was. Stares out the window, not participating in the conversation. That was five years ago. But you mean when we set fire to the flat to save your relationship? Five years? It can be five years. It can be five years. It was only yesterday. Why the it was five years ago anyway? yesterday. <laughs> Where are you going with this? I I don't really know. I guess I'm a little worried about you. I don't understand what goes on in your head and Well she's paying attention now. Me. <laughs> Why are you like this? Really? She's worried about me? Ah! <laughs> We're gonna crash again. I feel nothing. I didn't click it quick enough. Okay, here we go. You had to go there, didn't you? You, you really, you can't help yourself. W whenever you can't control something, you just hate it, don't you? And so, pow, you attack. You're wrong, Jun. I'm just trying to help. You, you can't really tell me that everything's fine, can you? Do you think that throwing my little problems back in my face is going to help? Oh, wonderful, wow! Oh, it's a miracle! I'm cured! Thanks for the therapy session, but I really have to go. Obviously, and crash uh, again. <laughs> you can handle everything just fine on your own, so go ahead and take care of Marie. Wait, June, don't leave, please. I'm sorry. I really need you. I... <clears throat> yeah, family! I really am a <laughs> Yeah, no, my family just don't give a shit, you know? I walk out and they're like, whatever. And it's like, yeah, thanks for all the toxic, horrible abuse. And it's like, you know, I cut you out of my life and you're just like, whatever. And it's like, yeah, that really, really, really makes me feel like I was ever part of this shitty fucking family. Sister tries to steal everything and all this shit. Okay, time to die again. She wasn't telling me that because she cares. That was her lashing out to hurt me. I mean, sometimes lashing out shows that you can, like, you know. Like, at least with the relationships that I've been in. Like, proper relationships. Because, like, family relationships aren't, you know. There's no fucking relationship with my family. They're all just shitheads. But, you know, actual relationships with people, it's the shell. You know, um, when one of those break down, like, you know, we just argue non-stop all day for days. No, and, you know, that was just because of the care. But, you know, you <laughs> when when the know. arguing is gone, that there's no when relationship they, left. But, yeah, we would just, just argue all day for ago, ages, non-stop. <laughs> and, um, yeah. <laughs> That's only because we cares, but then, you know, it was a hard breakup, so... Although for real, I, I loved writing it. it. Felt good going outside, meeting people. The lobster. Why are you putting the lobster? In... Does that lobster. encourage other lobsters into the? Oh, if you have one, oh, he escaped. Oh, it's going backwards in time, isn't it? Well, you only caught one. Lobart. Gin pint blue. It wants to pinch you. <laughs> I don't think that's quite what it said, but the. What new? I don't know. Chamber Britannia? Agriculture of Britain? I don't think you can catch lobsters in Britain. I really don't think we have lobsters in our sea. Okay, it's automatically going... <laughs> Again, forward and rewind are different directions this time. I guess, should we be going backwards? Should we go forwards? Um... Female lobsters may lay over 100,000 <laughs> eggs They're in their very fertile. They keep each clutch underneath their tails for several months. And when the eggs finally hatch, out come a profusion of lava just a few millimeters long. Can you imagine? Over 100,000 tiny little astrites. Well, that's a lot of babies from one and you know you're eating this one lobster and you're denying a hundred thousand babies by eating this one lobster because it ain't having those babies now is it so you know why don't they farm them then they cat one have it breeds and have a hundred thousand lobsters that's a lot of money if you do that but maybe they're not so easy to breed <laughs> lobsters have a chitinous exoskeleton a durable and tensile material that protects them fully this natural barrier is so strong that lobsters have no natural predators. In short, Other than human. No one can mess with lobsters. 
Except humans, of course. I don't know, I feel like there's got to be some things that can hurt lobsters. Because, you know, if they have that many babies, surely there's some thing that um, predators on them. Because otherwise, they would literally overtake the entire ocean floor. <laughs> or just die of starvation. So they have to have some sort of... They don't age. Their cells replace themselves perfectly, which they have to have some sort of presence throughout their lives. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd have millions upon millions of gigantic lobsters at the bottom of the ocean, and they would eat everything in the ocean. And you know, then then society would lobsters. die in the water. Their exquisite and delicate flesh is prized by the finest gourmets. They're not actually that special. Garlic, butter, lemon or mayonnaise, they're delicious. They're, they're not that special. Chef's menu. <laughs> lobsters are a symbol of wealth and luxury. Yeah, and I've eaten lobster and it's not that special, honestly. That was the official line. The one I got paid to write. But I dug deeper. You can call me a lot of things, but I'm nothing if not conscientious. I learned a lot about lobsters that the Agricultural Council wouldn't have approved of. Ugly truths we'd rather hide. The ugly truths of the lobsters is um, <laughs> that they're overpriced and I've hyped and it's like the beers, right? And like, you know, limits your consumption and say that it's, you know, high quality and high in everything, but, you know, in fact, for fact, it's <laughs> plentiful and abundant and not that special. What are we missing? Where are our hidden things? Female Doomed. lobsters may lay over 100,000 eggs in their lifetime, but few will reach adulthood. The lava will be gobbled up by passing wildlife. The young ones will be poisoned by water pollution. Their livers filled with heavy metals and microplastics. And those who grow big enough will be plucked out of the sea by humans to end up on a fishmonger's stall. So a lot of them are eaten by predators, as it just literally said. So, you know. <laughs> they become food for other sea creatures. Because it wouldn't make sense that they would have so many babies and be... Masters of the scenes, immortal, and you know, literally everything. They are prey. have a chitinous exoskeleton, but sometimes they feel trapped in it, so they molt. They leave their shells behind and expose themselves. Until their skin hardens again, the world is full of predators carnivorous fish, other arthropods, and humans, of course. Because when they've just molted, when they're soft, lobsters are their tenderest. And their tastiest. I mean, they don't shed it just because they feel trapped in it. It's more, you know, of a nature sort of thing and a cycle of life that they have to shed it. It's not that they feel trapped. <laughs> and again, you know, they are prey and they become food for other creatures, so. Lobsters don't age, but after a while, their shells do. And if they can't make a new one, their current shell will wear out. It will split. Bacteria, fungi, and other diseases might seep in through these cracks. And then the lobster will rot from the inside. Which is why it sheds it. Because, you know, rebirth and re end in cycles. Everyone loves lobsters. But to truly love them, first you have to cook them. And to cook them, you have to kill them. The modern way is to stick a sharp knife into their head. But since their nervous system is distributed through ganglia that run down their back, destroying the brain doesn't kill them. Not immediately. They'll spend a long You say time they spend a long time of agony, but, you know, it might not kill them, but it will cut the pain receptors, right? Whereas the traditional way is just to boil them alive without even stabbing them in the head. So, you know, <laughs> it's the lesser of two harmful acts to actually stab them and, you know, Always cut their brain 
receptors to cut the pain receptors. So they're not just being boiled alive and in pain. You know, it might not outright kill them, but it'll cut the pain receptors. No one wants to know what's in my head, but maybe you do? Or at least, you know, give people the <laughs> the feeling that they're putting it out of its mission. It's better than doing nothing. <laughs> but still, you know, it's like, it's not that special of food, honestly. It doesn't taste that special. It's, <laughs> it doesn't have a special texture or anything. So, you know, <laughs> is it worth it? Is it worth it? That's your question. <laughs> Alone. Monsters have a chitinous exoskeleton that limits their growth. As soon as they shed it, they're in danger. Their enemies notice their weakness. They can smell it, like sharks smell blood. If they can reach a weakened lobster, they'll devour it. They'll tear it apart and feast on its flesh. I mean, it's nature. To be eaten. Creature eats creature. So, you know, if they don't eat the other creature to survive, like, lobsters will eat other creatures, so don't act so self-protective of the lobster, because the lobster is eating other creatures to live, and then other creatures will eat the lobster to live. It's just the cycle of life. Lobsters don't age. In fact, they could never die at all. If they just stayed in their holes, they'd never get sick. But then they'd never eat. <laughs> and they'd never breed. And maybe that's the big difference between them and me. But you haven't grown. You just stayed the same forever. <laughs> like one cooked lobster and then a lot of rawer ones and it's everyone not necessarily alone on the shelf is it that love is what's killing them if no one not everyone loves lobsters we'd let lobsters live happily at the cold bottom of the ocean lobsters don't need to be loved me neither to be honest sad <laughs> i mean i don't know if you don't sounds you like you're convinced that you don't need to be loved there actually you know i feel like maybe you do Alone, alone, alone. You're saying alone a lot for someone that doesn't need to be loved. And they'll never watch them grow up. You might think that the sea is salty from all the tears shed by lobster mothers, but they don't cry. What good would all that Are you feeling sad about your mom not caring about you? I get it. <laughs> it's the acronym for your mom not caring about you. I understand. You feel alone because your mum didn't like you. <laughs> okay, where's our option for what was on the lamp? I don't remember what was on the lamp, but it's got to be coming up now. <laughs> There's only so many times you can click alone, right? That guy's face, when he did that, he's just like not even looking at you. Not even looking at the lobster, I'm just staring out into oblivion. We've gone through pretty much everything. Got to be coming up to <laughs> something that we can click on somewhere. Well, lobster gets cooked again. I feel sad for that fish, actually. <laughs> that fish looks sadder than anything. There we go. I feel nothing. Memory is weird. You suddenly remember these moments. Was she buying the lobster? <laughs> you realize it's trying to teach you something crucial. That, that day, you are a soulless that person that cares nothing. Lobster, to never molt, to never get eaten, to just hide in my hole. Yeah, and that's not a good way to live. That's the only way that I could keep on living after you died, my little fawn. I don't want anything. I don't Who dies? want anything. <laughs> I feel nothing. Where's on the opposite? I feel too much. <laughs> I care. Things matter to me. I care. That's probably my flaw. I'm not a soulless shit like the rest of the world. I care. Honestly, I'm glad she noticed. Yeah, you're dead inside, aren't you? I am. 
because I was starting to think Except you're running away emotionally, so I don't think you, you do not care. You, you know, you keep running away emotionally and crashing and dying. But you are right. With her gone, something inside me is broken. I just don't feel anything. Everything just slides It's probably because your mum was a shit and you don't care about your mum. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> I get that. And you're right. It's been five years already. But I'm still trying to figure out how the hell I'm meant to reconnect with my life. But there are a lot of people I that I do care I about. Mean, but... I know I can't Fuck my family. No, they don't deserve it. I think I get it. Is there anything I can do to help? I don't think so. Well, you can keep on beating up idiots, but that's more of a... Yeah, beat up the idiots, but grab your ass. Also, the amount of times that dumb fucks have grabbed my ass in a nightclub, and it's like... You know, really? And then, like, oh, I thought you were a woman. It's like, that does not make it any better, mate. The sensitive one. That really that doesn't make it... Money, it right? Okay, you shouldn't be grabbing I'm someone's sensitive. ass. By which he means weak. Not strong enough for the world. Obviously, I pale in comparison to the... Sensitive doesn't yeah. mean weak. Sensitive means you pay attention. Sensitive means you care. Yep, that's me. Sensitive means you so notice things. Fragile. Doesn't that's mean fragile. Mean. <laughs> Mom raised us to bite before we get bitten. That was the only way out she could see. And I guess I took her literally. But you weren't like that. You knew how to listen. You oh, she's them. eating this you were less grapefruit. Them. I always loved that about you. Uh, that's new. What the hell do I say to that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> anyway, maybe this is why mom chose you. Listen, Jen, I have no idea how things are going to play out with Marie. And it's true, I have been feeling out of it for a little while now. But I do know one thing. That's going to help us. What do you mean? That is? I mean that being a psychopathic robot has its perks. Cool heads prevail. And I think this is going to help us make the right choice. Don't know about that one. <laughs> the best choice for Marie, sure. But for you and me... Cold and clinical isn't always Maybe. the best option. Why are you looking at me like that? It's just... I'm not used to seeing you like this. You sound confident. It suits you. Cold and uncaring doesn't mean confidence so, what either. Do we do? I have no idea, but I'm not going to tell her that right now. I need to find a different tack. Now, I think you know exactly what you're going to do. You know your mother. She's stubborn. A real trooper. Why'd you call her your mother and not I think our we'll have mother? Because your sisters, I right? No, I, I just can't. I'm not going to sit here twiddling my thumbs. We don't have a choice, Jen. As I'm kind of twiddling my thumb on the analog stick, waiting for something to, to kick. <laughs> the doctors. They need to do their absolute best. Come to think of it, we're not keeping her in this hole. I'll call my dad. I'll bet he'll. You're taking her out of the hospital. I didn't think that's we're a not smart move. Anything to chance. Why aren't you? Yeah, I don't think that's the right move. You're with me, right? <laughs> we need to fight, don't we? For uh, I don't know. What do you mean? See? I don't know, Jan. If, if we were in her place, you know very well what she'd be doing. Killing do the birds. <laughs> to make sure we pulled through. We owe her that as well. Don't we? I can't take any more illusions. I clicked on the thing. I don't know if it registered. There was some big word there. Was that just do? You can't always <laughs> do something. We're going for another car crash. Running around all over the place, yelling at doctors won't help her just because we think it. I don't will. think it lets me click it the thing, even if way. I click it quick enough. It never does. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to let go. Let, let it go. go. Uh, let, let it go. go. What? See, Dian, maybe this is why Marie chose me. She knows that I can keep a cool head, that I don't let my emotions take over. And that you set fire to the flat. <laughs> you think this isn't your emotions doing the talking? You go on and on. Exactly, it's very the much your emotions. Ever. Do you seriously not think you share some of the blame? What? What do you mean? You know very well what I mean. She could have died in that car. Marie was also in the car that day. I can't remember why. 
She was going to town for an errand, I think. I parked in front of her house. She sat in the front, and then... She was by my side when I was... Jan's right. Marie mm. could have died. And the doctor said that this sort of thing can happen due to trauma from years ago. Did we cause some trauma years ago? Was it the sand fires or the flat? So it's all my fault then. <laughs> Are you saying that? I was like, for someone non-emotional, that's a very angry not, response. Since the accident, she <laughs> work. She's done her best to help you. And you... You just want to let her die? Shit, I'm not going to give up on her. If you hate her, that's your problem. You're out of your damn mind. Oh, come on. You're so transparent. Shut up! I don't want to hear any more of this. I'm leaving. And we saw him out and crashed. <laughs> Definitely not emotional at all. Just like Marie taught us. And you literally were just having an argument. And do I really have to be so angry? Do I really hate my mother? Yeah. <laughs> Like, what is that noise? Uh, there's someone else in the car with us. Is this just the accident that the mum dies? Were we responsible for it? Because someone's like, look out. So there's definitely someone else in the car with us in this scene. But we're not seeing it. <laughs> like, they're obscure, but I can hear that. Look out! There's definitely somebody in the car. And... Now we need to pass time. Oh, we're back in this scene. Okay. Oop. There's a when family. Get here, he'll family. Get here when he gets here. Family. Soon. Don't worry. I can't wait. Tomorrow we're visiting Buckingham Palace. And Lizzie says I'll get to taste real fish and chips. And oh, sorry, you know. I've never really been jealous. <coughs> London isn't necessarily the best place for fish and chips, to be fair. By the concept <laughs> of a family. That like there's some good fish and chips in the Midlands. And so beautiful to see. <coughs> I was also worried for her. She had a dad and a stepsister. Although if you're going for the fish, like you want to go somewhere like Wales. But you know, there's good chips in the Midlands. I was safe. But you know, London doesn't. I you know the fish and chips that I've had in London aren't the best. They really aren't. You get way better. That it. Scenes within scenes? The lobster again. <clears throat> I guess we've got more to discover from all of these scenes. <laughs> Even more alone. We are still alone. Maybe I should have gone forward and not backwards. The direction... I don't get why one direction is forwards and one direction is backwards, but in a different scene it's a different direction. Yeah, I should have maybe gone forward. It was probably <laughs> easier to go forward than backward. As is the way of life. It's always easier to move forward than to move backward. <laughs> so now we get to see all of the scene where there's nothing to click. And then we will eventually find something that's right <laughs> at the beginning if we'd just gone forward. But they keep reversing the, what the buttons do, so it's dumb. <laughs> what? <laughs> We've been through the whole scene. I didn't see a single thing anywhere. <clears throat> Maybe if we go forwards, though, we might copium see something to click. I saw nothing. Any Demon eyes on that guy. It's the blank stare into... It's like, hi, I'm staring at nothing. Where is... Where have we got to click? Cannibals? So, why do you <coughs> the elastic bands around their claws? To stop it's you so grabbing you. Hello, Vanessa! We did concern. click the lobsters, yes. So without the bands, they would just eat each other. When the guy said that... Would they eat each other? ...to my mother. She used to warn me about people and how dangerous they could be. Because they're all cannibals. <laughs> Don't trust me. Trust no one but yourself. Was her mom a cannibal? <laughs> her mom was a cannibal? 
The lighter. Okay, we're going to find something else to eat. Is that why they were licking their lips? Were they actually eating somebody? Did she... Maybe she cooked and ate the birds! Okay, backwards and forwards are reversed again. And how are you? How's your day going? I think she ate the birds. Okay, we're just looking for something to click. Somewhere. Strong. Wow. Together. I'd forgotten how muscular you are. <laughs> and are you jealous? <coughs> no. I like it. Uh, all right, you know. You're my sister. This is super embarrassing. Yeah, it's a little awkward. Especially since you're drunk off your ass. <laughs> she wasn't that drunk, though, was she? <laughs> uh, I've always she literally said she wasn't presence. drunk. Comforting. She only has to stand by me and I start to breathe easier. Funny how you forget the obvious stuff as time goes by. Except you're in argument. <laughs> the more to see in this scene? Okay. You see, my little dear, there are some things I'd have loved the chance to tell you. For starters, growing up means figuring out what you really care about and what you're better off without. I never exactly. understood why when you're better off without was things. Such a threat to Marie. It damaged me growing up that way. Now, I've had enough. Jan has always been a reassuring presence in my life. Although I never knew how to tell her. We had completely different lives. We're not affected by the same things. Well, nobody's the same. You know, doesn't... Care about her. Just because she's your sister, she wouldn't be the same as you. <laughs> okay. And now we rewind. Okay, no worries. See you later, bro. We owe her that as well. So weird. Don't we? <laughs> uh, we can. So terrified, actually. My little sister, I need here. to comfort her, show her that I'm here for her, that she's not alone. You are not you know alone. What? Now right we're not in arguing so much. Nothing we can do for Marie, nothing at all. Except turn off the lights of all. I this bothers you, and I understand, but that's how it is. It's out of our control, so I'd rather pay attention to what matters the most. Family. 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 <laughs> The family is the family that you make, not the family that you're born with. You're my family, Jen. <laughs> you know, or the family that you choose. So, you know, friends and relationships can often be actual family. But, you know, birth family, <laughs> especially with what I've gone through, nah. Marie, she's alone against the world. What does... Mm, I think she'd be furious if she knew she was surrounded with Jesus. This is a I mean, I think she kind of knows that it's, it's not full of religious. Anymore, but the new owners apparently thought it wouldn't hurt to keep a few statues around. And the stained it's glass windows. As any. After all, whether she admits it or not, Mom has one thing in common with the biblical Mary. Both of them had a child whose father was shrouded in mystery. Which makes me... I, don't, I think you're... Mom would have known who your dad was just because she didn't tell you. <laughs> Considering what she's been through, as a kid, I mean, what is she talking about? You know, and maybe your sister knows. What are you talking about? How do you know what she went through as a kid? Did she talk to you? Once, one night. I didn't really understand. Her dad left when she was like 12 years old. She basically raised her brothers and sisters on her own. Hold on, what? She has brothers and sisters? I guess so. And she's the oldest. You know nothing so about your mom. <laughs> everyone. Well, yeah. I mean, oh, wow. you know, if you've got a shit toxic family, and you I do notice. burn your bridges. I kind of remember, but it feels like a blur. Have we talked about this before? Did I forget that too? And then you make your real bridges with the real people that actually care and <laughs> those that actually show up and care and matter in your life you know, and don't Jan, do don't toxic shit and, anyone. you know, Not really. passive aggressiveness and bollocks. She, she doesn't know <laughs> how to trust. True. And then she has to just say, oh, I'm, here. Oh, I'm out of here, but see ya. And it's like, that's fucking awkward and we weird, mate. We need to trust each other, otherwise <laughs> we're screwed. You understand? Of course I understand. I've spent years trying to get her to pay attention to me. 
And I don't feel like fighting all the time. You, no one wants to fight with people that actually care about. What? You mean, now that she's fucking dying? No, I mean, we can decide to do things differently. You can, you know, you it's a movement to choice. Her rules, where everyone's out for everyone. Kill or be killed. I think that's... I don't know. It might be her history. But it doesn't have to be ours. I'm not even sure she even believes it herself, actually. I'd rather believe that there are people I can always count on. There are people you can count, can count on in this world. And I they're the real people that matter. <laughs> people like you, Didi Du. Is she crying? And you shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what's going on with me. People that care. I'm scared, you know. For mom, I don't want her to die. Well, right now, she's still alive. And you know her, she's not going down easy. I don't think you're anything like a lobster. I think lobsters are disgusting. <laughs> Is that right? Me too, come to think of it. <laughs> Ugh, crap. What? Is it the doctors? No, look. Alex? You should answer. Are you sure? Are you gonna be okay? Ask me again and I'll slap you. Of course I'll be okay. You're coming right back, aren't you? You better. Copium, end. yeah. Right back. <laughs> Probably gonna have an argument and then crash. <laughs> I don't know what would have happened. 